in Kumar Bonner led the Sajikor High Performance Center to a comfortable six-wicket victory over Bangladesh A in a 50-over game at the Desmond Haynes Oval today. Chasing 222 for victory, Bonner slammed 111, including eight fours and three sixes, while Andre Fletcher chipped in with 39 as they ended on 225 for four in 44.4 overs. The earlier, Bangladesh A were bowled out for 221 in 44.4 overs. Carlos Bathwit and Jonathan Carter picked up three wickets apiece. Bangladesh A winning the toss and electing to bat against the HBC. Already one wicket down. Miguel Cummins to Narul Hassan. Short and put away for four. 31 for one. Then Marshall Ayub with a sweetly timed drive through the covers for four more off Andre Russell. A bit of fortune here for Ayub through the hands of Ashley Nurse at slip and they collect three more. But the charity train came to a screeching halt. Hassan snapped up by Leon Johnson at slip. Wicket to Nikita Miller, 78 for two. Miller posing some problems. Ayub playing across the line, out LBW for 25. Bangladesh A, 86 for three in the 20th over. Entered Shubagoto Hom and he wasn't impressed with Nurse's bowling. Smacking this one through the leg side for four. Then Hom cutting Miller through point to pick up four more. He's off to a flyer. Naeem Islam was playing the supporting role until he was out caught by Nkuma Bonner off Brathwaite for 33, 163 for four. Pace and Miguel Cummins wasn't having a good day in the field and Hom took advantage. Beautiful square drive, not a man move. That's four more to the tally, 169 for four. But the wickets were falling around Hom. Mossadiq Hossein, loose shot edge and Chadwick Walton does the rest. Brathwaite, another scalp, 200 for five. Well, Jonathan Carter joined the fun as well, removing the new man, Farhad Reza. LBW for just three, 205 for six. Then Brathwick gave Mukta Ali his marching papers, bang on with the Yorker, and the off stump goes flying. Ali made two, 208 for seven. And to sum up the morning for Brathwick, excellent in the field, diving catch. That's worth another look. You should be taking notes by now, Bangladesh A, 209 for eight to Jewel Islam, gone for a duck. And yes, Brathwaite off his own bowling this time, runs out the danger man, Hom. Brathwaite leading by example. Hom made 66, 212 for nine, six overs remaining. And the last man to fall, Rubio Islam went for a big old swipe and was cleaned up by Jonathan Carter. Bangladesh A, 221 all out in 44.4 overs. Well, that's the first half in sports, back in just a bit. We're back. Well, St. Leonard's boys have booked their spot in the semi-finals of the Coca-Cola Barbados Secondary School's under-14 football competition. They defeated Coleridge and Parry in the quarter-finals at the Richmond Gap yesterday. CBC's Marsha Boyce reports. Coleridge and Parry in red and St. Leonard's boys all lined up ahead of this under-14 quarter-final clash. Conditions in Barbados have been a bit dry recently and this field bore the signs. St. Leonard's, though, would take the early lead. Dante Greenwich with a good strike to put them up 1-0 in just the ninth minute. St. Leonard's boys now with a free kick in a dangerous position, but it's easily dealt with by the CP goalkeeper. St. Leonard's kept the pressure up on their opponents, and their perseverance paid off. Goal number two would come in the 22nd minute. Greenwich getting a second of the game. St. Leonard's now up 2-0. And that's how this one would end. Neither side could score in the second half. St. Leonard's with the victory, advancing to the semi-finals. Marsha Boyce, 
CBC Sports. Well, thanks, Marsha. Vinci Masters have been crowned champions of the Banks Masters International Football Festival for the second time in the tournament's 18-year history. Playing at Dells Road, Vinci Masters recorded victory over Trinidad and Tobago's X-Men. CBC Shane Jones reports. Playing 30-minute halves, Vinci Masters opened the scoring in the 24th. Absolutely brilliant strike from David Lawrence, and the score was 1-0 at the break. But the equalizer would come for X-Men in the second half, headed home by Kendall Velo. So with the score locked at the end of full and extra time, this one had to be decided by spot kicks. X-Men stepped up first and fired wide. Vinci Masters went ahead in off the post. Goalie had the right idea, but a little too late. One all in the shootout. Vinci Masters back in the lead, coolly taken PK. Chance to level, too easy for the keeper. Come from the spot, Vinci Masters up 3-1 now. X-Men must score this one and that they did powerful strike. Scoring this one would give Vinci Masters the title easily done. Congratulations to Vinci Masters, champions of the 2014 Banks Masters International Football Festival. Well, Ellerslie and Harrison College will meet in the final of the National Sports Council's Co-Operators General Insurance Junior Basketball Competition. This after coming out on top of their respective semis yesterday at the Wildy Gym. Graydon Seely and Maroon up against Ellerslie. Couple steps and slides it in off the glass. Shamar still cooling out beyond the arc and drains it. He's got swag. Nicholas Hoyt with a response for Ellerslie. Take that. Graydon Seely now getting inside easy lane. Still from downtown again as the Paddock Road boys led 20 to 16 at halftime. Ellerslie on a mission to turn things around in the second half. Delano Watson, bucket and the foul. Watson again, strong in the paint, game high 20 for him. Ellerslie really stepping on the accelerator, moving the ball well. Watson unstoppable in the second half. Steal through the traffic. Two more of his 13 for Graydon Seeley. But they just couldn't stop the Ellerslie comeback. Ellerslie winning 45 to 30. Second game saw Harrison College in their traditional maroon and gold taking on Queens College. Joshua Lowe on the money. QC on the attack at the other end. Catch and shoot. Buried. HC banging it in now. Stay down. Then check out Raphael Howard. That's good. Low scoring game, HC with a one point lead at the break. Low now for HC, nails it from downtown. QC not playing dead though. Nathan Leacock with the offensive rebound and the putback. He had a team high eight points. And again, QC from the wing, count it. But Harrison College just doing enough. They won 29 to 27. Thanks again, Shane. Well, that's it for sports. Coming up next, the Business Report.